you'll find the setup of uh, a university is different from the setup uh, of a secondary school. Now they realize that uh, when you come to campus, there is no restriction. Before joining campus, they are often enclosed and protected by the school regulations, and the punishment that comes with breaking the rules is severe. They believe that there is freedom in campus and they cannot be told what to do or what not to do. When most of students, uh, we take them, it is because of academics, yes, but most of the students when they come to campus, now they realize that uh, when you come to campus, there is no restriction because some of even the, those, those, the, the interview, interview, interviewers, they're explaining to them, so they know that uh, it is all about their responsibility. So you realize that even if when they are moving around, meeting with the, some of the students, uh, probably dressing code and issues with, uh, and you talk to them, they say that uh, at least probably when we reach there, life will be much more better. Once in campus, after jail, as they describe secondary school, they are often seen walking in twos or threes within campus. They try to meet new people, being influenced by older campus students to join groupies and cliques. We, we, we join the cliques trying to find a sense of belonging and whereby if there's, if there's something good, there's always, there's always a bad thing in it. So we find many comrades will come and they'll join a clique and they get to meet with people and interact with whom they don't know their background very well and they end up doing things that they're not supposed to do. When I was in first year, and there are so many advantages of joining a clique, whereby I, I got to, found, to find uh, to find my a sense of belonging. I, I got to to interact with so many people. I it it, it helped me in, in reducing the fear of the unknown in this school. Other times, it is their religion that leads them to a particular group in campus. Some of them come to church, some of them don't, and some of those that come to church also don't stay for long. They, they, they fade off along the way. But uh, I, I have always seen how peer pressure affects people because when someone comes to campus, they are probably coming with the uh, advice they had from their parents to be a part of a church. But once they get into campus, they realize there are certain cultures that uh, seem fleeting and interesting and uh, church becomes very boring and uh, they begin engaging in a lot of things around campus which includes drugs and a lot of things of that sort and uh, along the way they begin to lose themselves in the culture around campus. The groupies and in turn peer pressure usually affect their academic performance and social life in general. They begin engaging in a lot of things around campus which includes drugs and a lot of things of that sort and uh, along the way they begin to lose themselves in the culture around campus and uh, in a short while they, they, they can't even uh, perform well in the academics because of the effect of the culture around. The impact usually depends on the type of group someone joins. Uh, away from being a student, I'm also a political enthusiast, uh, an environmentalist, and uh, so far so good. I'm a member of uh, different clubs in this school. At uh, some of these points and at some of these meetups that uh, we get to know people, uh, we get to know what they're going through, uh, their mental health challenges, financial challenges. We also have some of the social challenges, but when you bring these people together, uh, at least we can harmonize uh, as members of the club, as committee members, and as leaders of the, these uh, clubs on a way that we can assist.